on gaming, live streaming, and social media. Today is audience retention. What's good? What's bad? Why aren't your viewers sticking around? I feel like audience retention is one of the most underutilized yet telling analytics that creators seem to ignore. That's absolutely true. I think, you know, obviously everybody's got to get the click, right? You got to get people to click that piece of content. Otherwise they can't actually watch the video and then audience retention doesn't matter. So everybody focuses on clicks, clicks, clicks. How do I get that clickbait? How do I get that thumbnail? How do I get that title? How do I get people in there? And then once they arrive, what are you doing to keep them around? What value are you providing? What tactics are you using to get them to stick around? That's what we're going to be talking about in today's episode to really bump up your performance. In order to get people to come back as any you know popular content creator or streamer anyone will tell you is you have to have the trust of your audience if your audience doesn't trust you they have no reason to stick around and watch what you're doing they have no reason to click and read on any of your posts or anything like that they have to legitimately trust you as a source whether that's you know a source for news a source for education a source for just strictly entertainment they have to trust you and from what i've learned just give them everything just to, right up front just give them everything stop don't bullshit don't try and make it cute. Do something to just grab their attention, like spilling coffee on yourself. No, just give them the information. That's what the people want. They don't necessarily care about you. They care about your product. So don't make it about you. Make it about the message. Give them everything up front. That's been my secret to success over the last eight years. Give your audience as much value as possible, as quickly as possible, without yeah. all the rigmarole. That truly yeah. makes sense. And we talk about this, how cringy it is. If, for example, when you're watching a YouTube video, before they even start the content, they tell you, hey guys, you know, be sure to subscribe and be sure to like, and uh -huh. oh, it really helps me out. And you know, you should check me out on Twitter and Instagram. And then you hear the famous line that destroys audience retention, kills audience retention babies for a living, it's evil, is, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Why was there any further ado at all on your content? Why did you say anything at all that required you to then say, now we're going to get into the content? The only exception there should be to that is if a sponsor is paying you to have the pre-roll spot on the beginning of your content and you're playing their ad, then okay. Yeah, okay, so first of all, one of the things that I've heard is, and I, I think you pretty much just confirmed this, the first 15 seconds are when viewers are most likely to drop off, correct? It depends on the platform, but yes, I mean, first 15 are critically important. On some platforms, it's the first three seconds, like Twitter and like Facebook in particular, three seconds are all you get, Instagram as well. But the first 15 seconds on YouTube in particular, critically Got important. It. And the first 15, I'd say on streaming platforms like Twitch, DLive, Facebook, and what have you, Facebook gaming, 15 seconds is about all any viewer is gonna give you, Ross, just like you're saying, to actually see whether you're worth your salt. And so if you're not give, telling them what value they're gonna get on the episode within the first 15 seconds, they're out of here because they have millions of pieces of content to go look at, right, Ross? Quite literally, and it's just going back to what you just said, and this is why it's so important, and maybe this will help people understand why you have to get their attention so quickly. This probably hasn't always been the case. This probably didn't start becoming really a thing until 2010, 2012, around that time, because there is so much content out there. Think about what you're doing on Twitter and Instagram. Number one, you're maybe only actually reading one out of every 10 tweets on your timeline. The rest is literally you scrolling. That is how much you're trying to digest information. When there are billions and billions of videos on YouTube, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands on the same topic, your potential audience has, a, has the choice to watch your video which they somehow found and clicked on if you're taking five seconds to get to the point get to the topic they have you know 99,999 other videos that they can on the same topic that they can go choose from that the integral part is uh 100 at the beginning